the room. Jen. Sabrina, the Washington Post has a story out suggesting that Tower 22, the reason that the drone was able to get into Tower 22 and evade um, defensive systems is that there was no air defense system on site capable of shooting it down, that they were relying on electronic warfare that didn't work and that the drone fired by the Iranian proxy uh, was flying low enough that it evaded uh, that measure. But why didn't it have, why didn't Tower 22 as a base not have an air defense system, system capable of stopping this drone? Yes, yeah, thanks, Jen, for the question. So um, CENTCOM, as you know, is still doing its review. Um, we're still assessing exactly what happened in that attack. And of course, CENTCOM and the secretary will determine um, if there's any change or needs to be any change to our defensive posture at Tower 22 or any other base in the region. Um, but I just don't have more for you on that specific attack. When I do, definitely let you know. Let me back up then sure. because take the investigation aside yeah. because that's often a stalling mechanism to not get bad news out. Um, how many bases where U.S. troops are in the Middle East do not have air defense systems that can shoot down these drones? Well, as you can probably appreciate, I'm not going to detail from here or from the podium, uh, our, our air defenses, where they're located, and how many bases have what. Um, I think that just wouldn't be good for our own operational security and our force protection. Um, promise not stalling here. Uh, just. Mm -hmm. Is this Washington Post story? Again, accurate? I'm not going to comment or respond to a um, an unnamed U.S. official who uh, spoke about an ongoing review. I can commit to you that when CENTCOM is done doing its review, uh, we will share the results of that and, and read out what we can from that assessment, barring the fact that there is classified information.